Two big investing trends in ETFs, momentum trading and clean energy. Would you buy a FOMO ETF, a fear of missing out ETF? There's one in registration right now. Here to explain it is Matthew Tuttle from Tuttle Tactical Management. Also joining us, Sylvia Jablonski. She's the chief investment officer at Defiance ETFs. They run the brand new hydrogen ETF, HDRO. Matt, let me start with you. Everyone's trying to capture the crazy nature of today's trading, these wild gyrations between growth and value, the Reddit stocks, the reopening stocks. We've got momentum ETFs that rebalance twice a year. We've got a buzz ETF that rebalances once a month. Now you're proposing a FOMO ETF that rebalances weekly and can buy anything at all. How are you going to do this? How do you set up a momentum trade like this? Yeah, so I mean, as you mentioned, there's so much going on and the pace of change is faster than it's ever been. So if you're rebalancing twice a year, even 12 times a year, by the time you go to actually do something, it's obsolete. So all of our ETFs right now trade weekly. We believe you've got to be able to move on a dime. And FOMO is about being in everywhere that you need to be that's currently hot right now, being in the right stocks at the right time in the right proportions, and then being able to move really quickly. And I think the question then is, do you go in and out of a moment? You have a momentum indicator that buys the, the stocks with the biggest momentum and also buy stocks that are lagging as well, sort of reverse, reverse momentum indicator, right? Correct. So we've got two different components to it. We've got a trend following component where we want to buy the stocks that have been hottest over the intermediate term. But then we've also got a counter trend component where we want to buy the stocks that have gotten beaten up over the short term right. because typically those are the stocks that are going to come back and, and that smooths out the returns over the whole portfolio. Okay. Sylvia, clean tech was hot in 2020. It's even hotter in 2021. Why do you think hydrogen is going to be the hot clean tech story this year? Well, 90% of the world's energy consumption comes from fossil fuels, which are bad for the environment. Hydrogen is a good alternative energy source, and it can provide up to 25% of our energy needs in coming years. So right now, there's about $150 billion investment in the hydrogen space. That is thought to be growing to $11 trillion in the next two to three decades. So you can see that's you know a massive reason to look at this space and, and invest and get there early. But basically, hydrogen will be able to fuel our vehicles. It'll be able to power forklifts and do all sorts of things that support uh, corporations and the way we live. But the biggest thing is that it's getting cheaper to do it. Their technology exists, and it's getting better and more efficient. So it's more um, there's more ease in creating hydrogen as an energy source. And finally, there's this massive um, political environment which really supports the hydrogen trend. So the EU, the U.S. are all uh, yeah. uh, saying that they're going to be carbon neutral by 2050. So the amount of investment and effort that has to go into that is huge. And hydrogen is really on the cusp of that revolution.